Hi, welcome to a Rust Godot tutorial. First things first, do I recommend using Rust for Godot? No, not really. But since I'm going through the pain, I might as well share my knowledge. Godot doesn't natively support Rust, but it is possible to use Rust with the GD native library. That being said, Godot 4 will no longer support GD native and will possibly support GD extension in the future. I couldn't get GD extension to work, but if anyone gets it to work, let me know in the comments, I would love to know. I am currently working on an open source game. I may close the source later in development, but the alpha code will still be available after the source is closed. If you check out my GitHub, you can see all the requirements and download links to play it. That is also where all the download links for this tutorial are going to be located. I won't just be showing you how to code what's in the tutorial, I'll also be showing you how I found these solutions. P.S. Rust documentation sucks unless you're an expert at Rust. Starting off, you'll need Godot. If you already have Godot installed, verify that it is 3.5.1 or newer, or whatever gdnatives crate.io says you will need. Also, it can't be Godot 4 because it no longer supports gdnative. The website looks like this, it should be fairly good at figuring out what operating system you're on, but you may need to select the right one. Once that is downloaded, you will need to install LLVM. For all platforms and for Windows users, you'll possibly need to install VS Code C++ Lang. I installed it prior to LLVM, so I'm not sure if it is completely required. For LLVM, click on the GitHub link, scroll down until you find your OS and format. My recording PC is Windows 64-bit, so I'll be downloading this one. For Windows users, navigate to VS Studio's website. Download the preview of your choosing. I did community, but all work. Once downloaded, install or modify the preview version on top. Scroll down on the sidebar until you find C++. And on the sidebar, click on C++ Lang Tools. Hopefully you have Rust installed. If you don't, the page looks like this. And you should be able to find other videos on that. That should be all of the downloads. You can now create your project folder. I'm going to direct myself to my Rust folder in my C directory, and then create a new folder and call it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Godot Game. Now open up CMD and navigate to your folder. I'm going to do cd dot dot slash dot dot to get to my C directory, and then cd Rust, and then cd Godot Game, or whatever you named your game. Once I'm in there, I'm going to need to make a Rust library, so I'm going to do cargo new, and then godot-lib-lib. Dash 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 you can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to end it with dash lib at the end to reduce confusion. Once that loads, if you have VS Code installed, you can cd to your godot-lib, and then do code dot. Going back to the directory, you can create a new folder for your Godot project. So that name is whatever you named your game, plus Godot dash, just to make it less confusing. And then once you open up VS Code, you can hit the X or do Control W on this page to close it. Open up the TomL file, and then under dependencies, you want to put GD native equals 0.11. You will also need a lib section. For this type, square bracket, lib, square bracket. And under that, you're going to put in crate dash type equals square bracket quotations c d y l i b quotations and square bracket. That's all the dependencies you will need for this tutorial. So you can close that now. If you go back to CMD, you may compile this to install all of the libraries. The command is cargo build dash dash release. You may exclude release, I just found it runs better with the release optimization. In your lib file, there will be some default code in here. These are tests. You can keep these as a template if you want to, but I will be deleting them. I'm going to create a player.rs file. We'll be using this later inside of the lib.rs. 
you will need to use gd native colon colon prelude colon colon star semicolon. This just includes all of the libraries that are extended from the prelude folder. I'm going to be using additional files to store my objects to keep the code a little bit cleaner. So I will mod my player.rs file. We will need our first function. This function is going to handle our init and we're going to pass in a handle init variable and then in the parentheses or squarely brackets we will handle these by handle.add class. Then we need to call this function using the Godot init macro. There's a few basic things we need in our class. We will need our basic Rust information, which is our public structure and the class name. In this case, it's player. We can close it with a semicolon or open it with some squirrely brackets to add global variables. We need, to, we need a new function so we can tell Godot how to make our player object. We need a ready function so Godot knows what to do when the player object is created. We need a process function and a physics process function. Godot uses camel case with leading underscores. Since these are functions on the implementation, we need to include a borrow slash pointer to itself. This can be mutable as well. These functions also pass in the object type, which is denoted by hashtag square bracket base and square bracket. And then we may name the variable whatever we want. I just want to name it owner and then colon and then ampersand kinematic body. This is default node, but you can't move nodes with transforms. So it's going to be whatever type the object is in Godot. You may do a camera object or any other object within Godot. That's where you would change this here. You may be getting some errors, so we can resolve these. So if we scroll back up to the top, we can include our GD native library. Then we need to derive our GD native class. So you would do this with this function right here. After that, we need to inherit the object type that we're using. In this case, it is a kinematic body. So we will use a hashtag inheritance parentheses kinematic body. This may be a node or camera object or clipped camera. So this is where you would change that as well. Under the underscore ready, we're going to be doing a Godot underscore print macro so we can see an output. After that, now we need to make a compile.bat. This is just a life changer. This just makes everything really easy. And if you are running Linux, it's going to be a .sh file instead. But you're just going to type in cargo build dash dash release. We're going to cd out of that directory and then move the file from our target slash release to our bin inside of our Godot. So that's just going to be move quotations godot.lib slash target slash release slash the project name dot dll and quotation and then space and then our new directory which is going to be the godot dash godot slash bin. Now the pause in the next line is not necessary but it does make debugging a little bit easier. If you don't have a pause the CMD closes immediately after it's run. This just makes life easier and if you're going to do it for Linux Instead of move, it's going to be MOV, and instead of your DLL, it's going to be a .so. And I do not know how to do it on Mac. And then to do it manually, you'll just navigate to your target slash release file or debug, find your DLL. Once you have your DLL, cut it, and then go to your Godot project and go to bin and paste it in there. If you don't have a bin, do a new folder and call it bin. Now it's time to create our Godot project. So we're just going to find our folder. Once we have found our folder, you might need to delete bin because it's going to want you to have an empty folder to create your Godot project. So I'm just going to navigate to my Rust directory. Once I'm in the folder, I'm going to select the empty folder 
and then create project. Once this loads, we're going to create a 3D scene. We need an object to put in our scene, so we're going to do a kinematic body. And inside that kinematic body is we need a collider. So I'm going to search up collider. It's going to be the collider shape. I don't know why I'm having trouble finding it. It's right there. Sorry. This is future me watching past me make mistakes. Drag it inside of there. That's going to yell at you that it doesn't have a shape yet, so we're just going to put in a cube. Once all of this is set, we are going to click up at the top, add a clipped camera so we can see our object, and I'm going to add it to the kinematic body. Once we have the camera, we're going to add a GD native script at the top right there. Type in GD, GD native library. Once we have that, we're going to create a new script hit edit and then we're going to import a library that's going to be our DLL or SH or non-extension file depending on what operating system you're on so Mac is going to be non-extension Windows is DLL and Linux is .so once we're done with that we can hit save at the top we're going to save this as anything you want I'm just going to call it Godot dash lib to keep it kind of consistent with what the rust file names are and your extension is going to be the gdn lib and then you can save now we can add this script to an object so we're going to go to the kinematic body go under script new script and then at the top there, the language is not going to be a GD script, it's going to be a GD native. And then the class name is whatever you named your class, so it's going to be Capital Player. And we're going to save this. So create. Once we're inside of here, we're going to do a quick load and load in our library that we created. Now just save your world and then we can run our program. You will need to run your bat file or sh file or drag in your file to your bin again to make sure it's all compiled and up to date. Once that's all compiled you just have to select your current scene and you can see hello world at the bottom there. That's all I'm going to show you in this tutorial for on the Godot side. I'm going to show you how I found all the research. So the best way of finding information I have found is the crate.io slash crates slash gdnative. This website has some information, not a lot, but you can hit the get start session. Get, get you can hit the getting started section of the book or you can find their github page on here as well with all the different projects some of these are a little bit outdated and don't work anymore you can also find the Godot Rust github.io documents so you can find the kinematic body here these aren't as useful unless you really know how Rust works but you can kind of find things that things do so like the kinematic body you can get the floor angle, get the access lock, get the floor normals so you can get some more information here and if that's not helping you can go to the docs.godot engine this isn't in Rust but you can find how other people do things with tutorials and then you gotta convert it from their Python or C Sharp to Rust and if that doesn't help the GD native C++ library is very similar You'll just have to convert it to Rust as well, but you can get some more information out of that because the community on C++ is a little bit bigger on Godot. And if you want some more information, you can check out my GitHub, the game Isolation. You can look at all the source code for that so if you guys need help. I don't want to promise that I'm going to be making any more videos because I'm also a full-time student and I have a job 
so I have all this homework and so I am a very busy person so uh, thank you guys so much for watching I wanted to do a scripted video but I broke my finger so I tried to script a tutorial which I don't recommend for anyone who ever wants to make videos so thank you guys so much for watching uh, like the video, uh, subscribe, ring a bell or something. I don't know how to end these. Bye. I do enjoy making videos. So I'm going to try my best, but I don't know how much time I have during the semester.